If we put him in there in that pen in that barn, he can still get away. But his boundaries are going to be a lot smaller. So it's going to be easier for him to pay attention. You need to make walking away from you harder on him than walking to you. So that he can choose to do the easiest thing. Because that's what he's going to choose to do, the thing that's easiest for him. The only time you take the pressure off of him is when he's looking at you. Just help him understand that staying with you is the easiest thing instead of walking away. Okay, Andrew, let me try something. Okay, which do you think is easier on this floor? To turn and face me or keep doing this? Turn and face you. Turn and face me is a lot easier to keep doing this. And that's what I want him to figure out. See how much easier it is for him to come to me than it is to come to you? Why is that? Because you made it to where it's easier to follow you instead of running around. Yeah. And that's a lot harder. And I'm being real consistent with it. Anytime he's not doing the right thing, then I'm putting pressure on him. <laughs> and the only time he gets that pressure off is when he's doing the right thing. He doesn't get it off when he's doing the wrong thing. When he's doing the wrong thing, the pressure gets worse. So it makes it easier for him to trust me. See that? So even though you were being easier on me, Who do you trust more, Andrew? The people that make you always do the right thing or try to make you always do the right thing or the people that kind of let you do whatever you want to? People who uh, push you to do the right thing. People that push you to do the right thing are easier to trust, aren't they? And that's why this horse is. It's easier for him to trust me when I'm asking him to do the right thing every time. 